Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Goodworks Tractors. Today we are going to talk about Made in America tractor attachments. So stick around. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love to get a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more about tractors. And if you're looking for something for your machine, head on over to GoodWorksTractors.com. And we are proudly brought to you by Boro Wheel Spacers, a Made in America solution for stability needs for your equipment. One of the most common questions I'm asked these days is where is this product made at? The support for Made in America continues to grow and grow and the quality of products made in America has always been there. The features available on products made in America have always been there. The price is the biggest concern, right? We are so used to paying lower prices, but those prices are lower because India, China, other countries over in, in third world areas of the world have a lower cost of living. They're earning a lower wage. And so that lower cost is right into the product as well. And so we've been so acclimated to that kind of purchasing environment for so long where it's a bit of a sticker shock when we transition to try to buy and support living wages here in America. And I work hard to find good values. And I think of a good value in the tractor world as, or anything really being feature rich, high quality, and a competitive price. Not always the lowest price because to get to a low price, you need to sacrifice something. So it needs to be competitive compared to other products on the market or getting more bang for your buck. And I wanna be the one-stop shop for your tractor equipment needs. And so I work very hard to try to find and source new suppliers, bring on existing suppliers that are out there that can help fill out the lineup. There's still gaps in my lineup. So if you know of an area that uh, you have a natural fit for, whether you're a manufacturer, you know of a manufacturer, I'd love to hear about it. Okay, so we need to qualify what made in America means. And if you are ever having trouble sleeping at night, then you should check out this article at the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, because it's nearly 5,000 words. I looked it up because I was like, how long can this possibly be? And uh, there's all sorts of examples and definitions out there. So I'm just gonna sum it up just on a very high level. There's a lot more minutia. You know, you can nitpick a lot more if you want to, but you're basically gonna have a made America. You don't have to qualify that statement at all as like a, uh, an asterisk almost. You can just assume then that it's all American steel, all American labor, unless there's something very insignificant, say maybe a linchpin, for example, or a nut or a bolt, or maybe some wire, something very minimal and insignificant in the overall manufacturing process of the equipment. The other very common version or the kind with the asterisk or the qualification is gonna be made in America with US and imported parts or some variation of that terminology. Basically, it's an acknowledgement that a lot of the manufacturing process, whether it's materials, labor, both really, should be overwhelmingly made in the US, but there could be imported parts. Take like a gearbox, for example, on the Rhino Tiller. That's gonna be a pretty significant part of the overall tiller, but most of the product is manufactured, you know, as far as the materials and the labor here in the US with something, a significant chunk like the gearbox being imported from overseas. Even something small like this tape measure is gonna be made in the USA with global materials. So it's kind of pervasive throughout every industry, every product that we come across. But I do wanna clear it up that just because something like this funny top mower that comes out of Italy isn't made in the US, doesn't mean it's not a good value, high quality, feature rich, you know? So it's really more about what economy you wanna support. You know, if you wanna put as much as you can back into the US economy and even if you buy something like this, you're still supporting a dealership in the US who's selling it. So there's all sorts of variables that come into play. And the more complex a product is to manufacture, whether that could be a John Deere tractor, it could be a Ford truck, it could be the Manitou I have. It's that much more likely that you're gonna be sourcing parts and components from around the world. We are a global community now. It's so easy to get things transported and just communicate and work together. So it's natural to not have completely made in the USA made products. So for a simple product, like say the Bora wheel spacers, for example, it's very few pieces, right? You're just machining it and uh, routing it and designing it and whatnot, but you get to a, a John Deere tractor and you have hundreds, maybe thousands of different components that go into that assembly and manufacturing of the tractor itself. And you can see how it's that much more challenging to have everything from right here in the USA. All right, so without further ado, a list of all the variations of Made in America, asterisks or not, that I carry and represent, plus a few bonuses from our northern neighbors just across the border. Okay, so first on the list will be the 511 Grill Guards, actually right here in Michigan, believe it or not, but a lot of the machines, Kubota, John Deere, he started with Kubota making grill guards to kind of fill into space and protect 
the radiator, the front of your tractor and your machine so a stick doesn't come flying through there. You don't think you need it until it's too late, so think ahead and get one of these. You order direct from 511. There's gonna be a link down below or get there from my website. You use code GWT to save 5% off of your order. Oh, and he is coming out with more products all the time, including some ROPS lights and ROPS brackets to kind of accessorize and outfit your tractors further. So if you don't see what you want right now over on his website, just shoot him an email. Let him know because he doesn't know what to make sometimes unless he gets a lot of feedback from the customer base. Hey, next up on the list, gonna be Bora wheel spacers. You can see the different variations, steel and aluminum for your tractors, for UTVs, for trucks, a lot of different equipment. They are pretty focused right on wheel spacers. Now I know they do have some other products in the device development pipeline, but this is an example of a simple product, right? There's not all sorts of components that you have to put together. And so it's easy to see why these are going to be made in America of the materials and the labor. Now, Big Tool Rack is the next one up. If you didn't notice, we're going in alphabetical order, but these guys do a great job. They are well known for their ultimate tool rack, their yard rack, some other products, but they have a full lineup of accessories for your equipment. And now some of their stuff is made overseas, but they are working hard to do as much as they can here in the States, both with materials and labor. And they are looking hard for additional ways to get even more of it sourced and done here in the States. I give them a lot of props for that. This is a company that I work with that I don't stock most of their equipment, but you order it directly from Big Tool Rack. And no matter what you order there, you get 5% off using code GWT. Now this might be one of my favorite attachments, the CMP Dethatcher, basically a rake for your tractor. 60 inches wide, it's very lightweight. By design, that's intentional, so it's gonna be safe on your lawn, not too aggressive and rip it all up, but this is such a multi-purpose piece of equipment that you can use for not just dethatching, but for spring and fall cleanup, for um, you know storm cleanup, for scarification if you wanna overseed, a lot of uses for it, but these guys are working hard to make these up in Minnesota. Uh, the assembly process, sourcing all the materials as well, you know, they are gonna be one of those, you know, little nuts and bolts type things that are getting sourced from outside the country, so it's gonna have the asterisks on there but still you're putting a lot of your money that you're spending on this product right back here into the states and that's good to know this one here i am excited to share with you because it's pretty much almost an entire lineup of tractor attachments that i am bringing on board this is just kind of the first taste i have I think three more semi loads that are gonna be coming in sometime soon as well, but dirt dog attachments made down in Georgia, anything for your landscape rakes and your, uh, your land planes, tillers, pluggers, you know, so core aerators for your lawn. We got a bunch of those coming in soon. Right now it's, it's July, so if you're watching this right now, otherwise, Take a look at the website. We're gonna get everything filled out on there in the coming weeks of what we can offer. In green, we're gonna get some orange equipment as well. Now, a couple pieces of equipment they offer do come in only a construction yellow, but this is a rollover box blade. I've never used one, but I wanted to get one in and try it out, see what it's all about. You're gonna see a pulverizer over there as well, also construction yellow, but these are a couple really cool items. They have a wide variety, rotary cutters as well, and most of their products are I would say made in USA without an asterisk, but some of them that had the gearboxes, the tillers and the brush hogs are gonna be imported. So, you know, they're gonna fall underneath the same category here. Very competitive pricing, great features, good quality. It checks all the boxes. As a quick reminder, everything you see in this video, you can find over on our website. Most of these products we do stock and we physically ship it all over the country, but you will see it noted to have a link to go to the manufacturer's website for those items that you buy direct. Next up, we're gonna talk about Goodworks tractors. <laughs> I'm actually getting into the manufacturing um, side of the business and I've hired a fabricator who's based in Iowa. Okay, small company over there. I'm a small company myself. We are using all American steel. It's all American labor. We're not outsourcing anything. So this is a true made in america product right here is our latest our latest concept this is going to be the hd version of the stump bucket the heavy duty version it's going to be uh, longer front to back about 24 inches it's going to be made of 3 8 thick steel plate it's very heavy duty still has the same great features as a small bucket with the kind of the sawzall uh, edges on both sides here to rip when you're going forward and backward but Great for not just digging out stumps, but digging holes to plant trees, uh, carrying boulders, um, digging shallow trenches for wires or pipes or cable. But there's a lot of uses for it. And right here, you can see the original stump bucket. This is gonna be made to fill a void in the market for small compacts, for subcompact tractors, sized appropriately so you're not putting too much strain on your loader's hydraulic system. And also so that you can maximize the hydraulic system because if you have too wide or too long of a bucket out there, there's no way for a small tractor to get leverage. So you keep it more tight, compact, close to the tractor. It's a lot more effective. 
Now we're not stopping there just as stump buckets. We're coming out with a lot of other products as well. A lot of designs in the pipeline at the moment. This is gonna be a ballast box with a couple add -a boxes, okay? One on either end. The cool thing about this concept is you can take this box and put it over on to this side. So if you are working on a ditch or a hillside where you have to, you want to avoid it, but if you have to be kind of side hilling it, you can put more weight to the high side on the hill to try to keep yourself seated and planted, and then you can vert, reverse it and go all the way back over here to this side. You know, we wanted to give an American-made quality solution that still had some um, impressive features on it. So you do have the built-in tool holders. You're gonna have the two-inch receiver. We designed it so around the edge, if you wanna hang on additional suitcase weights, you can do that. We even took into consideration the mounting location of the three-point hitch. That's one of the big complaints in general about ballast boxes is that the bottom edge sits too low to the ground. So if you're on uneven ground, the ballast box tends to want to drag along and scrape the ground. We address that concern too. And we have some other prototypes as well, including a bolt-on tool holder that you can get right for a quick hitch to bolt on and carry some stuff along with you. Um, even a pallet fork frame. And then the next product we're gonna launch is gonna be a weight bracket. We're gonna sell those by themselves if you wanna have that shipped out to you. But we're also gonna put together some packages for the weight bracket and then a set of eight suitcase weights, 41 pound or 70 pound. That way we can get everything to you, ship it on a pallet, should be the best price around. Let's spend a little time over at the 1025. We have several products on here and they're on here because I've kind of built this to be my, my test machine almost with different accessories and attachments and features that are found on it. Uh, if you take a look down below, this tooth bar is a heavy hitch product. This is made up in Minnesota, American materials, American labor, great company, great tooth bar. My favorite one that's on the market seven different attachments points that you just use an allen and tighten down there's no drilling that's required so it's easy to take it back off but a tooth bar or a cutting edge in general is really going to open up or enhance the ability of a bucket to do work so instead of one flat edge you can really rip through rock roots piles of, of stone whatever it is that you're looking to move that's going to make a big difference so on this one you're going to order direct from heavy hitch you use code gwt you save five percent off of your order Take a look at these bolt-on brackets. Now these are primarily for John Deere tractors, but JU Fabworks is coming out with a more universal bolt-on solution for other tractor manufacturers as well. But these are multi-purpose, at least in the sense of the John Deere buckets. We've done a video all about it, but these top edges, these top rails are very flimsy. And so the number one thing that I like about this is it's gonna provide reinforcement and protection for the top rail of the bucket. But now the more obvious factor is gonna be the versatility that is enhanced with the hooks and the grab handles and the D-rings and the different variety and combinations you can get the two inch receiver as well you can get one big rail for the middle outfit them on just the sides get a different version for the sides in the middle you mix it up it's your choice so this is another product that you're going to buy direct from ju fabworks you save five percent with code gwt they are actually made right here in southwest michigan american steel and american labor now we've talked about MUDS Customs in the past, but they found their way to another list because they are made in America, right in Iowa, a small company over there, so they'd love to have your support. But we've had a lot of great feedback from folks that have bought their accessories as well, but you have grab handles, mirror brackets, steps, you're gonna have tie down points, rear hitch receivers, all sorts of stuff, even backhoe buckets in varying widths. So reach out to them. It's another company that you work with. You buy directly right from MUDS Customs. You use code GWT and you save 5% off of your order. Okay, Rhino is another manufacturer that uh, has a wide array of products from tillers and cutters and just general three-point equipment that kind of ranges a broad spectrum. Very high quality. And like we mentioned earlier, certain items like a tiller, it says made in China right on the gearbox itself, but then there's a label that's right on the tiller that says made in the USA with US and imported parts. And so it's just another example of depending on the attachments you're looking at, how they're gonna be qualified. But the important thing is these guys are making some very high quality equipment. Most of that American dollar you're spending is going right back into America, not in other countries. So that's a big feature to consider. Now I can vouch in particular for this 72 inch tiller that it is a tank. I used it in a video last year, uh, tilling up food plots out of my property. I didn't have time to do any spraying or cut down the weeds. It was just knocking down two foot weeds and uh, taking everything with it along its path. And then, you know, I planted right after that, had great food plots in the, in the fall, a few weeds sprinkled in, but the deer didn't seem to mind. Rhino attachments, we sell these, ship them all over the country. This big old stack of crates you see behind me are gonna be filled with brush crushers, the only grapple out there that doesn't use any additional hydraulic or electric connections. 
This model in particular, the BC4215, is probably the most popular model we sell. It's going to be for a John Deere Quick Attach. It fits all of your subcompact and compact John Deere models that have the Quick Attach system on there. It's got three sets of jaws, three on the top, three on the bottom. The brush crusher design works amazingly well. I wish I would have come up with it. It's fantastic, but it's going to get you into the grapple game at the lowest price point without the need to add on those additional functions to your machine. Made in America, right in the Midwest. We ship these all over the country all the time. Okay, so here we have one example of the WorkSaver grapples. They have another full assortment, and you're going to see kind of a trend here. I don't always um, stock or try to stock or even promote every product across the board from a manufacturer. It's not that I can't get it, but I do try to pick and choose the products that I think are the good values you know, out of them, and they're not all a great value. Maybe they're lacking in features, or maybe it's a bad price point for one reason or another. And so you'll see a lot of other products that are on WorkSaver's website and some of the other manufacturers I've talked about here that I can order for you if you want to, I'm just not gonna try to stock it. And so the reason I love most of their grapples that they have to offer is because they are some great values. This is a double jaw, six foot wide grapple, great for a four series or a grand L series or even small utility tractors, they have narrower versions, they've got small units for um, subcompact tractors and small compacts, for John Deere Quick Attach, for Skid Steer Quick Attach, a lot of mix and match that's available. And these guys have been manufacturing products in Illinois for over 40 years now. Okay, so now a few close calls just across the border up there in Canada. You know, these guys are making some great equipment up there too, and hey, it might not be United States of America, but it is North America. So Bombalite is first on that list. They uh, make a lot of really high quality attachments. You're gonna see this is a stump grinder for a small subcompact, but they make a wide array of stump grinders for all the way up to utility tractors, skid steers, uh, mini skid steers, all sorts of stuff. I've also been using a mulcher head on my skid steer out of the property that they make for tractors as well. If you go to their website, you're gonna see there's a wide array, but these are gonna be probably a premium price compared to some of the other products that are on the market, but every piece of equipment I've used from Baumlite is built like a tank and it shows. Okay, so I'm standing in between three different Canadian manufacturers, the HLA Snow Pushers. It's hard to beat them, I love their design. The only ones that have a completely integrated uh, back drag here for the smaller two series of pushers. You get to a big pusher like this, you're still gonna have a 12 inch back drag, but there is a gap, there'd just be too much steel. But a great, great option, very simple, no other hydraulics or electric that's required for these snow pushers, for skid steer quick attach, John Deere quick attach, global quick attach, custom pin on. If you're looking for a snow clearing solution, check out HLA. And besides just snow pushers on our website, you're gonna find their pallet forks, which are very popular. You're gonna find their bale spears. You'll even find their buckets that they make. Now I'm standing right next to an MK Martin snowblower. This looks a little strange, right? It's actually an inverted snowblower. You mount it on your three point hitch, but instead of having to drive backwards and look over your shoulder, you can drive right over the snow. It's gonna handle it really well. We made some videos last winter showing just how that works. But MK Martin also makes box blades. They make rotary cutters, a lot of other attachments. Again, you'll find them right on our website. Now, Sweetball has a couple of great products. They're gonna have their sweeper, it's PTO driven, or you can get a self-powered version, but it's gonna suck up nearly every kind of debris that you can imagine. They've done all sorts of videos. We've done a handful of them ourselves, so check that out if you're interested. They also make a core plug aerator that's tow behind. You can get it with an electric lift, but we ship these manufactured direct all over the States, but they are made right up in Canada. And last but not least, Wallenstein is gonna make a wide variety of wood handling products. You do see a chipper right here, but they make chipper shredders, splitters, conveyors, all sorts of stuff to deal with timber and wood products. So check them out. They come in, you might be able to see some crates around here, but right in nice crates that are ready to ship right back out. And we do send these all over the country. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap it up. And you know what? I'm never going to just not buy something that's not made in the USA. I'm gonna kind of take everything into consideration and consider made in America products to be a bonus, but this gives you a good representation of what's available. It's not everything, there's other products that are out there, but the products that if you're looking to purchase through Good Works Tractors, I can help you out with these. Hey, so if you enjoyed this video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more, and if you're looking for something for your tractor, visit goodworkstractors.com. Thanks again for stopping by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.